Welcome. This is Mr. S, and in this presentation we are going to be talking about the importance and also the structure of hydrogen bonding and how it is important in biology and in all organisms. Hello, I'm Mr. S. Before we get into hydrogen bonding, we need to talk a little bit about the structure of a water molecule. So let's look a little more deeply into those covalent bonds that make up a water molecule. All right, here we are, a picture of Mickey Mouse. Oh no, this is a water molecule. If you remember your chemistry, we have two red hydrogen atoms and one pink oxygen atom, making up one water molecule, H2O. Let's look closer into the structure of a water molecule. All right, first, we can see this is an oxygen atom. It has six outer electrons, so it needs two more. So it needs to find two more electrons, and it finds them through these two hydrogen atoms. So the first hydrogen atom shares an electron with the oxygen atom. So now it has seven. And the second hydrogen atom shares another open electron with the oxygen molecule. Now they are both stable. So here is the water molecule. Now you can see that the electrons that are shared by the oxygen and the hydrogen, the ones from the hydrogen are going to spend much more time revolving around the oxygen atom than they are around the hydrogen atom. And this is what causes the hydrogen bonding which we'll talk about next. Because the ear end or the hydrogen end of this molecule of water is slightly positive because those electrons are spending more time on the oxygen end, it makes it a polar molecule. So these two water molecules can attract each other because the positive end of the hydrogen ears is attracted to the oxygen end because it is more slightly negative. So hydrogen bonding is important in many ways in biology and in life. Without hydrogen bonding, man would not be here, or neither would plants or any other organism. Hydrogen bonding is resp So let's look at an example of how hydrogen bonding and water molecules react with each other. Let's do a short experiment. You'll need the following equipment on the next slide. This is a very simple experiment. All you're going to need is a eyedropper or pipette, a penny, and then just a small container for water. What you're going to do is very slowly put one drop at a time on top of the penny and see how far or how many drops you can actually place on the surface of the penny. As you can see here, the water actually is bubbled up over the penny and it actually will hold on because of those hydrogen bondings to each other. Eventually, the hydrogen bonding, because they're weak bonds, will break and all of the water will spill off the top of the penny. Before you start, hypothesize how many drops you think the penny will hold and then see how close you are to that hypothesis. I hope you've learned a little bit about hydrogen bonding. I think it's a very important concept to get hydrogen bonding down because of basic water characteristics, but also, as you'll see later, hydrogen bonding is very important in proteins, making proteins stick together or stay together, and also in DNA, and allowing those molecules to stay together.